Going for a take, take one. Sincidying, AKA color isolation manipulation. Ooh. How to do it, why to do it, when to do it, who to do it to. You may have seen this in movies such as Sin City, the sequel to Sin City, other movies that are like Sin City. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. Super easy, it's super quick, and there's like just a couple clicks involved. So let's jump right in so you can make your footage way more stylized. I swear to God. Go on here, go to your adjustment layer. Okay. Bring your adjustment layer on top of your clip. I can do most of my color correction in this color tab, so I'm gonna click on that. And over here, you wanna go into your HSL secondaries. Click on your pen dropper tool. And with this specific image, what I want to isolate is this blue. It's beautiful, and I want all this blue to stay, and I want everything else to be black and white. So I'm going to find the most mid-ranged blue you can find. And what I mean by that, it's not the darkest blue, not the lightest blue, but the bluest blue. It's about right there. And over here, we see that these parameters come up. And if you click on this box next to color gray, you'll see the blue that you've selected. Here, if you want to get some more of those dark blues and include some more of those white blues, all you do is click and drag these triangles to include more of that blue. Do the same thing over here. And as you do that, you can see that more of that water is being claimed. I don't want to get too much in there because then you start seeing that we're getting all these other fragmented blues up here. I think that's good for now. I'm going to check this off. I'm going to go down, and in this case, how I want to manipulate it is, is the saturation. So I want to make everything black and white. So if I go to saturation and bring it down to zero, I've taken all the color out of the blue that I've selected. Now I want to keep that blue. Easy fix. You go to this button, which is your inverse button. Give that a click. Voila. Everything is blue, and everything that isn't water is black and white. Let's play that and check it out. Now you got this beautiful Sin City water island scape. Man, that's gorgeous. All right, cool. Let's do that again to another clip, except this time we're gonna want just one thing in color, but there's multiple things of the same color in the clip. Let's look at this butterfly clip. So if I do the same thing, bring my adjustment layer over, click on that pink, not the brightest, not the darkest, but about the average pink of the pink you want selected. Click on this checkbox so you can see what you're claiming in terms of pinks. Looking good. And then we're gonna bring the saturation all the way down, hit your inverse box. Perfect. And now if you play it, we'll see there's a little bit of pink in the wings and a little bit of pink in here. Now if you want those black and white and only the pink here to be color, you're gonna have to go through a small series of nesting and masking. So let's get started with that. I highlighted both of my clips, right click, nest. We'll call this one Butterfly Flowers. Hit that, alt, click, drag, and duplicate it. This bottom one, go back to your colors, basic correction, and just bring it down to zero. Now if we hit the eyeball here so we don't see this top layer, we can see that we've made this clip completely black and white. We want that. Now with the top one, go to your effects controls, highlight it, get your, get your pen under opacity, and simply make a mask. You can make your mask way more detailed and better than that, but now you can see, you know, if I click this eyeball so I don't see this bottom layer, this is all of that clip that we're allowing our viewer to see. With that being said, underneath it, when everything else is black and white, that means this flower and this butterfly are not included in your color manipulation isolation. They have not been Sin city -ed. That's basically all there is to it. Simple. Who knew Sin city was that easy? Now there's more to it. You can make your black and white stylized, maybe bring up the shadows and a vignette, make it really gritty, all that good stuff. But that's basically the concept behind how you Sin City. Hope that was simple enough and I hope you guys learned something.
from that. If you did or you have any thoughts or questions or comments or anything like that, put that in the comments below. And until next time, have fun filmmaking, have fun with the effect, use it at your own discretion, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.